Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm on my way to go pick up some new crates. As you guys know, I'm really into organization. I like to keep things a little bit organized and I wanted to implement it into my camping gear. So today I'm gonna go pick up some crates by Cidio Crate. Um, I've been seeing them on Instagram all over the place and I love the concept. I went with the half size crates just so I could get my hands on them and see what they're all about and if I like them and I think they're going to be a good option for my camping gear, I'm going to go ahead and probably purchase two of the bigger crates that they just came out with. They are not paying me, they did not send me any crates so I'm doing this review and I purchased this with my own money so I'm super excited. They look freaking awesome and I'm going to head to LA right now to go pick them up. <laughs> all right so we're back at home sorry i don't have a super nice open box area we're in my living room all right and the reason why i have so <laughs> these two big boxes is i placed an order for two crates uh one i want to put in my truck for kind of a organizing area still kind of don't know what I'm gonna put in it but I wanted to get it just to test out see if I like it in the car and then like I said again I, I buy the big ones which is the full-size ones for my camping gear um, but these are just to test out so I I just recently redid the closet in the hallway and I wanted to add crates to organize stuff after buying the two that I bought for myself, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and buy a couple more to put in the closet. So for my truck, I ended up going with the green color, which I thought was pretty awesome. They do have a tan, but uh, if you know me, I like my green. <laughs> So I went green with red bottom. And then the second crate I went with, this is for the garage area. I went with black with a red bottom. And then these are the blue ones, which are really nice. I, left, I let my wife pick. Um, it was between the whites to match the whole white laminate. Uh, closet or add some color with the blue ones and I was I was thinking the blue too as well just to kind of give it a pop of color because they're the other fleece bags or whatever they're called um they're like gray so I think these are gonna pop really well okay so the main reason why I got these crates is because at the time of my purchase they were pre-releasing the full size crates, uh, which are double the size, obviously. And my main goal was to replace my front runner wolf pack boxes. I have the first generation ones with the really skinny latches. Uh, I wanted a little more organization with my gear. So that's why I thought these would be an awesome addition to my camping gear. Now the question is, am I going to replace the Wolfpack boxes um, and purchase the bigger crates? The answer, unfortunately, is no. So I took these on the last trip I went on and I used them, they were great, but what we do outdoors gets really dirty, especially taking dirt roads um, opening and closing the hatch, opening and closing the doors, uh, just camping in general is, is really dusty. So a couple of things that I noticed that are kind of deal breakers are, I'll kind of show them to you guys. Well, as far as the whole, cr the whole crate, right? It's a crate, a old school style crate where this is technically just an open hole into the box. And then 
at the bottom, it's just a crate bottom. You, they do have the option for the insert, bait, like the bottom plate, which is awesome. I love that fact. But when you look at the side here, there's just these clips that hold the bottom plate down and you could get dust in here. These don't have to be, in order to work as an outdoors box, I guess, they don't have to be airtight. They don't have to be 100% waterproof. The front runner ones aren't 100% waterproof. They don't, they claim that they're not waterproof. I've driven with those boxes on top of my roof in front of the tent. To Arizona, there was a small rainstorm. Nothing got wet. It was perfect. Now, if I got the full size crates, it wouldn't perform as well. Uh, there are, so there's holes on the bottom plate. There's two holes here, which is cool because you can buy a plate here and write whatever you want, write whatever's in the box in the front and you can see it, which is super cool. Um, and then these, it's just a hole and you have to buy these plates extra, which is really good to prevent kind of anything to get in, but it's not 100% sealed. And then to the lids, when you open the lid, you, you kind of push it outwards and then up. So this whole channel, there's like a, a channel in there that allows it to move freely, but which potentially get, you know, you'll get water in there. And uh, again, I, I'm not expecting it to, to be, you know, waterproof or any, anything like that, but I've been camping and there's been situations where a random rainstorm comes by and we're rushing to get everything into the truck and there's been times where i would just throw everything into the wolf wolf pack boxes just close the lid and not worry about where it's at um and let the rain pass and then we'll start taking everything out so in that situation um yeah these just fell a little short but yeah, as soon as I did the unboxing, I saw a couple of things that caught my eye that I didn't catch while making the purchases online. And I think that was, this is a big reason why I wanted to do my initial thoughts on these things, because these little things you don't pick up just like looking at pictures online and not too many people that I've seen or that I follow um, have incorporated these boxes into their gear setup but it does have really good potential. All right, so am I going to keep these things for camping? And at the same time, do I recommend them? The half crates, I do. I, I mean, I haven't tested the full crates out, so I can't say yes or no. I'm, they're the same thing, just taller. So if you need the space, um, I definitely can see them used in the outdoors. Um, I'm not gonna replace my wolf pack boxes i'm probably gonna go with the um newer style wolf pack boxes that probably pick up one to test out see see how they are um but i'm actually i i do recommend them and i am gonna keep them the half crates one in my truck as part of my kit i might not always take two i think i might just leave one in there if i'm doing like a solo trip I'll take two of them because I like the way they work um, as far as splitting my camping, not essentials, but kind of like my smaller gear. So the second box would be consumables. The other box would be gear that I use, smaller gear that, that I can put in there and I can use. I do recommend it and I am going to keep it in my system until I, I find major hiccups in it. Uh, so far, my first trip, I loved them. I, I really liked, you know, the fact that I could just grab one of the cases, bring it out, know exactly what's in there and then put it back. It's just organization to the max, which I love. And there's a lot of accessories. Really, really do recommend the product. There is room for improvement, just like anything else, but I'm really happy with the, the boxes that I'm gonna use for camping. Um, if anything else comes up, I'll definitely let you guys know. 
All right, well, that's the end of this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. We truly appreciate it. We'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and, and do what, Mama? Give us a big, th big thumb up. Give us a big thumbs up. All right, guys. Bye. <laughs>